Hello everyone, this is Arya and first off I'd like to say sorry for going being gone so long and I hope you guys like the fact that I ended up um, not getting the little cards with numbers to number the cards so that way you guys know exactly which pile it's which. So again, I'm sorry I was gone so long so uh, let's move on to the pick a card reading. This pick a card reading is going to be... Uh, I check up on the energy on twin flames, whether it be yours altogether or theirs. Um, this is gonna be just a uh, a checkup. Uh, for those of you who uh, want a personal reading, the info will be down in the description below. So check that out. And before we get started, I will be channeling a message from the Archangel Michael and it's Dex, so let's shuffle here real quick so we can get an overall message for you guys from Archangel Michael. So Archangel Michael, if you could please give us an overall message for the energy surrounding Twin Flames. Alright, here we go. We've got one. And we've got eternal love. Eternal love, um, obviously, this is in regards to twin flames, so it's gonna be true, true love, you know, um, a true connection between the two. The prayer here, it says, help me, uh, help me perceive all the love that surrounds me so that I have, so that I can feel safe receiving, expressing and giving love. So again, if you guys want to read that, that is a little message Archangel Michael has for you guys. So without further ado, uh, thank you Archangel Michael for that message. And let's move on to the pick a card reading for you guys. So let me move this here real quick. Alright, for those who pick pile number one, um, we're going to go first with the cloak cards, and we have the float, then we have the silent, and then we're going to channel some messages from the fairies, and then um, it's business venture, so this one says, trust and follow through on a new business idea or career opportunity. There we go. Then we have connect with nature. Uh, you're, you're rejuvenated and inspired by spending time outdoors. And then the final ones are the um romance angels oracle and then we have first this new love a person a new person has a, a stirred your romantic feelings and then the last one is free yourself it's time to take back control of your life okay so First things first, these two here, these two here really strike me as you're in a work environment that you're not very happy with. You're in a work environment that uh, is not appreciative of what you bring to the table. So with this in mind, um, with this card here, what's telling me along with this one is that you need to leave that place in if you had a business idea or if you had a job in mind that you want to do pursue it because that is what's going to bring a new love for you a new romantic um venture uh because from these here i feel like you're you haven't met your twin flame um you are in the process of meeting your twin flame you're right now you're in the stage where there's some decisions that you need to make in order for you to 
start the connection or start you know the process of meeting so this is a new journey for you basically you're you're like a little hatchling that's about ready to hatch and see the world and um you're in the process of cracking that egg because right now again it's a new journey for you you're 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 very new to this situation and they're telling you uh you need to you need to go into nature and you know clear out your mind because there's a lot of stress going on with you right now with a uh, job uh with the job with the uh you know the stress of not being appreciative for what you bring for what you do no matter how hard you try there you, there's no fulfillment you know so they're telling you go with your gut go with your feelings if you want to create a new um a new business if you want to go into a different type of career then go for it because it's gonna bring in you no, new love and it's gonna free you from this struggle that you've been uh, that you've been put in and with the silent and the nature here I feel like silence in nature is going to bring a lot of tranquility in your life because there's a lot of noise I, I feel like there's a lot of noise like I the feeling like that is like a, a an office area where there's a lot of you know typing printing people moving around and about you know that kind of thing that's the kind of noise I feel and like you're being suffocated by all that and they're telling you go to nature and embrace the silence the silence that comes with finding peace and tranquility once you do that your the flow is going to come your way you're going to start floating floating away up 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 and away as they say and your situation will greatly improve your financial state will definitely improve whether it's la you're lagging in financial stability or you want better stability it's gonna come your way but i'm really getting the sense that you need to focus on your on a new career path because you're definitely overdue on that <laughs> you're definitely overdue on that and once that starts then this love is going to come your way it could be in the new job that you go into it could be that you bump into them on your way to your new job because you know it might be that you know you get go one way to this current job that you're in but with this one you're off in another direction and you know you're walking on your way to your new job really happy about it very excited about it and boom there you go new love right there like right in front of you walking right towards you um but again you have to take that step that very very difficult step forward into that new life that you need to build for yourself that new stable life that you need to create for yourself and hatch from that egg see that new world brighter and more beautiful than you've ever seen it before so that is what I have for pile number one. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope it resonated. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Hello for those who picked pile number two. For those who picked pile number two, our first card is the glow card. Then we have the loop And then for our message from the fairies, we have affirmations to lift up your thoughts and energy and to attract what you desire, use positive affirmations. Definitely. I, I'm still learning and I'm still in this process too. So I know, I know how, how affirmations can be very powerful. So we have... Uh, dietary change improve your diet and your life will also improve 
healthy eating. Definitely need to learn from that too. So from the Romance Angels, we have Soulmate. Yes, this is your true, your soulmate. So if you're wondering of the, the person that you're wondering about, this is definitely a, 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 an answer for you. It's definitely your soulmate, Twin Flame. And we have Religious Factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. And then the last one is make an effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Okay. So for this pile, I feel like with this one here and this one here, I feel like you guys have been, you've met the one, but you're very skeptical about it. You're like, well, I don't know if they like me. I don't know how they feel about me. I don't even know how I feel myself. So you're you're in a loop here. You're kind of like, I really like this person. I really, really do, but I don't know if they like me. And then you're like, another another time, you're like, well, I don't know if I like this person. Uh, maybe, they, maybe it's someone else. I, I really don't know. And you're like going this back and forth, back and forth. And the universe is telling you, yes, this is your true soulmate, your true twin flame, so get with the program. And with the affirmations here, uh, they're telling you if you're in this loop cycle here, then affirmations really work well. Like, you know, positive thoughts, positive energy will bring positive results, right? So with this here, they're telling you if you want really good results, if you want the, the uh, the outcome that you want to happen then you gotta make an effort and you know go with those positive affirmations make the effort possibly you know if you're in a good terms with this person very talkative you know you're talking a lot you're going out as friends a lot then possibly make the effort to ask this person hey you know let's go on a few dates and see how it goes and or you know for religious for those who are very religious people whether it be you know uh whatever your religion is then possibly go on ventures that you know uh your community is holding and if they're very religious then you know invite them out and get to know them even more make the effort to uh step out there and let them know give them hints and you know, tell them, hey, you know, I kind of like you. I know it's it, I, it's a very, very difficult situation, and it's a very difficult thing to do. Where, you know, you gotta you gotta make up your mind and make the effort. And you know, once you do, once you make up your mind, then stick with it, move forward, and it'll definitely happen. Because I have the glow card here. Every time I get the glue card, I always get the sense that the your your path is being lighted by a little glow of light that it's very hard to see. I I every time I see this card, I always see uh like a little tunnel being guided by a little fairy, a little glow that's le leading you away from the darkness. So have faith in that guy that you have and move forward because you definitely can and you definitely will now it seems that you've been thinking a little bit about your 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 looks i with this card i feel like it's more the looks like like you know i feel like with this card you're like maybe if i'm prettier he'll like me maybe if i you know, go on a diet. It's not regarding whether you're prettier or whether you go on a diet or whether you you know you do a makeover. It's it's I I the message I'm getting is don't do it because of them. Do it because of you. If you're going on a diet, then uh, you know it's not necessarily about going on a diet. It's about eating healthier. 
uh, eating, um, eating your greens, eating whatever, it, you know, all that's good for you, and eating a little less junk food, and more delicious, nutritious food. Yes, it's okay to have your chocolate. Yes, it's okay to have your chips with sauce and all that goodness. But eat with moderation and, you know, for every time you eat, uh, exercise. Go out and have a run and eat really healthy. It'll improve your life as a whole. Not for them, but because of you. So... Again, make the effort to do that, not because of them, but because of you. Because you are beautiful, you are gorgeous, whether you have, you know, you're skinny or chunky, whatever it is, you're still beautiful. And this person will love you for who you are, not for what you have, not for what you can look like, not not for what you can change yourself, but because of who you are, your soul and you and you alone so keep that in mind because if this person let me give you this if this person asks you to change if this person tells you if you were more skinnier this person's telling you you need to exercise more oh you know this dress would look very beautiful on you but you know you need to lose weight then that's not the person for you because they don't love you for who you are and you need to understand that the soulmate that you're seeking, um, that you want, will love you for who you are, for what you hold, not for, not for, you know, the material stuff, not for the, you know, like, the magazine girls that are out there that, you know, are practically, like, a stick. No, no, no. They're gonna love you for you, for who you are for your quirky personality, for your individuality. So keep that in mind and focus on that, on your individuality, on your charm, your very own unique and special charm that will, they will be attracted to. I hope that resonated with you guys. This is all I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Hi guys, for those who picked pile number three, finally it's your time to shine. For pile number three, I have Earth, I have Shadow, and the messages from the fairies, I have Assertiveness, stand up for your beliefs and only say yes if you really want to. Let you guys read it here. New home. Moving is a step in the right direction for you. so you can see all of them there we go then the last one for the fairies is you've got the power use your abilities to resolve this situation you can do it and then the romance angels we have um let your friends help you ask <coughs> Ask for and accept support from others. And then the last one, we have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you, makes you more romantically attractive. Right off the bat, I'm getting that you're, I'm getting the feeling that you're in a very difficult relationship right now. You could be married. A lot of you could be married. A lot of you could be living with this person. But definitely in a very difficult spot here. Um, with the shadow here. And the fact that I have new home here. The shadow really brings me to a sense where it's the individual that you're with right now. 
kind of like a very suspicious shadowy figure not very trustworthy you've lost feeling for this person and in this case i feel like it's you do you overdo <coughs> sorry you overdo for a move and i feel like with this person they're telling you you know they're they're telling you a lot of the things you want to hear a lot of the good stuff but you feel very uncertain and they're telling you say yes only if you feel if you truly believe in it only if you're you know 100 percent sure about yourself because in this situation i feel like right now you are in a state where you don't feel comfortable right now you don't feel safe anymore and you have the power to change that you definitely do and moving away from this energy from this situation will definitely will definitely how do i say it will definitely bring more power to you and you will feel much much better much more secure and i feel like you have friends who are more than willing to help you but you feel like you can't really ask them for help. I feel like you feel trapped. You feel... How do I say it? Like a caged bird. You have the key, but you're not willing to use it. Or you feel like you can't use it. And you they're telling you, you have the power. You have the key. Use it. Get free. Free yourself from this situation because it's draining you physically, mentally, and spiritually. You're very drained. You're... I feel like there's a lot of tiredness in the situation for you guys. Like you're always tired, you're always stressed, you're always you really just don't want to do anything. You want to be in bed, you want to sleep, but that's the result of you not having you not having the enough energy anymore because you're spending it all on this individual that doesn't love you or that you know isn't there for you anymore uh if you truly want a little bit more stability go into nature go into the woods and just relax and let nature flow within you the energy the nourishing energy it'll give you the strength that you will need in order to move forward in life and you know learn to love yourself because i feel like Right now, you don't. You you really don't. And you feel like... How do I say it? It's not that you've lost your self-respect. It's more of a... You just don't feel like you're worth it anymore. You, I feel like you're... <clears throat> downgrading yourself a lot more than you should. And that's why they're telling you to love yourself first learn to love yourself all the qualities within you your your pros and cons learn to love every aspect of it and in doing so you will bring the right individual for you because right now you're blocking yourself from your true twin flame this could be a karmic relationship that you're in or it could be a situation that you're in because of the circumstances that brought you to this situation. But first, you need to leave and move to a new home, more stable. Maybe a new city, a new... Uh, f the further away that you're from this person and this, and this um, energy, the better off you will be. Maybe find a place where there's a lot of nature. And then you will find a lot more peace. Moving away from this shadow is what you want to do. Move into the light, as they say. Move into the light and you will find peace within yourself. You will learn to love yourself more. You will get your power. You definitely have the power, but you you haven't lost it you just don't see it and once that happens once you move away from the situation i feel like your twin flame will, will appear 
I feel like this is kind of like you telling, like them telling you, here it is, here I am. You just need to move away from this situation, from this shadow. From this shadowy figure that's literally blocking your light. The shadow's like literally, this is you right here. And the shadow's like overshadowing you like this. It's not even letting you shine. It's not. But you have the power to break free. This person cannot hold you back. Because your light is bigger, brighter than their shadow. Than their overshadowing you. And yeah, that's basically what I have for you guys. I hope this resonated with you guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Hello, pile number four. Here we go. For those who picked pile number four. I have the create, the maze, and then the fairy messages. Winter, the answers to your uh, prayers and affirmations are fully realized in the winter months. And then walk away. Leave the unhealthy situation and enjoy the new doors that open as a result. Let me move these up here real quick. There we go. And then and then the last one in the romance angels, we have wedding. This situation involves marriage. So, for those who picked pile number four, I'm getting the, the phrase, you create your own reality with this, with this card here. You create your own reality by affirmations, by thinking positively, and by moving away from the situation that you're currently in. You may be in a marriage that is no longer fruitful, that is no longer pure. Let's see. Uh, that no longer serves you, basically. And they're asking you to walk away from it. Instead of, you know, lingering here, in a place where you you feel that you're no longer wanted, needed, desired, move away from it because it's unhealthy for you, and it's literally diminishing your you're diminishing your self worth, which you shouldn't do. And the maze here, you're going you're like literally right here in this maze. You're like trying to figure out a way out, a way to improve yourself, but you're not willing to leave this place. You're not willing to leave this cycles, this this maze of endless loops and, you know, no way out. You're not willing to do that, and you need to, because once you do, you'll find a new love, you'll get married, you'll be much more happier with the very handsome individual or gorgeous individual now once that happens it'll take it'll take some time and the prayers that you've been so desperately clinging to every night praying every morning praying affirmations everything it'll all come full circle for you in winter if you take the steps to move away from here this situation, leave this mage, ma mage, <laughs> maze, uh, and create your own reality. This, this will come into fruition. See this unicorn? See this precious maiden here? Maiden? This unicorn's literally coming to this maiden. It's looking at her, like, telling you, you know? 
you're you've made it you've you succeeded here have the sparkles have the brightness of life and everything that you so desire and you know this perfect marriage and this perfect wedding um but leave the situation that you're currently in because it's no longer fruitful for you that's what i'm getting um Let's see. I'm getting the phrase, true love is hard to find, but you will find it if you make the effort. So make the effort. Move away from what no longer serves you. And come for circle to your new wedding, to uh, a wedding, a even a romance, you know, that will lead to this. It might not necessarily happen in winter for a new wedding, but it will lead to it. It will definitely lead to it. I feel like this is the outcome for you. I feel like this isn't an outcome. If you're not married, you will get married. Or if you're married and are in the process of wanting to divorce, definitely do it. And you will definitely get married again with an individual that will see your true worth, your true value. The true value in you. And yeah, that is all that I have for pile number four. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. And I will guide, I will see you guys next time. Bye. Pile number five. Hello. Hello, pile number five. So... <laughs> As I was shuffling and setting up the piles for this one, I got a very, very deep feeling for this. So let's see what this this deep feeling is about. I have the dark. And your fairy messages is daughter. The answer to your question involves your daughter. And then let go. As you surrender the need to control your your uh, your relaxed energy, rapidly attracts your desires. And then we have you deserve love. You are lovable. And then playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to of fun to shine. Okay. Let's see. Alright, so for some of you, let's see. A very, very, very small group of you. I feel like you've lost a daughter because of the dark card. I'm getting the sense of loss with this card here. And this one. Could be, a, could be again, a, a daughter most likely. I feel like it's most likely a daughter. But it could also be a son. It could be... A brother or a sister and I feel like a sense of loss with this with this pair here and you're you're in a grieving state and you can't seem to let go of that grief and they're telling you to let go of it at least that's the feeling I'm getting with this pair with this one here I just have a sense of a lot of darkness lost like you're in a very deep deep pool of darkness and i just i just feel a lot of negativity with these here like like again a great loss it could be that you 
you lost your daughter again it doesn't have to be deaf but it can mean uh that you lost your daughter a custody you know like custody and they're asking you to let go of that grief you might be able to see her not very often but you might you're definitely going to be able to see see her uh for those of you who i feel like it's a very small group of you that lost a child during pregnancy or after after they were born shortly after or years on the road my condolences to you if that's the case um but i feel like because of that you're you're no longer who you used to be this playful individual and they're asking you to do that because you definitely deserve love you definitely deserve um a lot of love uh let's see For those of you who For those of you who are in a relationship and feel like your partner is neglecting you they're not the one so you should let them go because again you deserve love and the right person will come your way you know become more playful become more of the true you the child within you is asking you to play to go party dance anything like that they're asking you to be more of a child more of the playful you that you used to be before all this happened before all this um negativity struck your uh in your relationship it could be um let's see it could be that you're no longer attracted to each other so that's why you need to let go of this person because there's no more attraction and why stay when there's when the attraction is no longer there and it might be because you have a daughter you have a child with this person and you really don't want them to be you don't want to separate the family basically and that's why it's very hard but they're asking you to let go because this child is going to be growing up with their its parents not loving each other always fighting always arguing and that's not a very healthy environment for that child to be in so in this situation it's better for you to let go and see the, see see the child as often as you can and so that you can be in their lives but i feel like separation might be the best way to go for all of you involved in the situation uh for those single your twin flame might have a child they might be in a in the process of separation and i feel like when that's over i feel like it's going to be over soon because of this card here so so they're asking you that when that does happen to you know become more playful become become the child that you are meant to be in front of us and give the love you wish to receive basically because you do deserve love and if you bring in the playfulness of love the uh not necessarily on you know the childish kind of love but kind of like mm, 
a serious, playful type of relationship where you literally can go out and, you know, go to the, go to the beach, um, play volleyball, you know, splash yourself with water, that kind of playfulness that's also, you know, serious. And they will, in turn, you will get the same back. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's all I'm getting for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry for the depressing message here. Uh, uh, I hope this resonated with you guys. Again, my condolences for those who did lose a child. Um, and I hope for the best for you. I hope that you get many blessings and love out there. All the love that you deserve. I hope you guys enjoyed though it's highly unlikely <laughs> um i hope to see you guys next time thank you so much for watching bye all right for the two pick pile number six all right the first card is the rain And then we have the shield. Then oh, no, your message from the fairies is, whom do you need to forgive? As you release old energies, uh, as you release old anger or resentment, you will find that your wishes will come true. Then we have, for your romance, we have, there's chemistry, chemistry, we have, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. And then we have true love. This is a romance of a lifetime. And then the last one is flirt. It express your lighthearted and uh wait, wait express your lighthearted energy to others. Okay, there we go. Okay. <sighs> First and foremost, I gotta address this card here because I feel like if you're single or in a relationship or married. There's definitely someone you need to forgive if the relationship ended up badly because this person did something to you, either cheated on you or, you know, just hurt you. Um, I feel like you need to forgive this individual. You need to uh, meditate because I feel like you have a shield within you. And the rain, I feel like in this case... With you, I feel like the rain never stops, is what I'm he hearing. It, it never stops because you have a lot of resentment, you have a lot of anger within you. And the shield, I feel like it's more like a lock for you, kind of like blocking you. And it's like literally, see all these chains, it's literally chaining you up with a lot of negativity. And the more negative uh, it, the feeling, the more unhappy you are and because of that you can't move forward you can't move uh you know your relationship to the next level you can't you know go back to the way you were and they're telling you you need to forgive this individual find the courage and the strength to forgive this individual because once you do a lot and i mean a lot of that weight will be lifted off your shoulders and you will feel more lighthearted, more, you know, peaceful with the spring in your step, you know, that kind of feeling. And uh, for those of you who are single, once you make the initiative to break the chains away from, from, 
from you and release that negativity, you will find true love. There will definitely be chemistry and you will and you know there will be flirtiness, there will be playfulness. And getting from these here I get a lot of playfulness. A lot of you know that mm, youthful love, basically. You know, going to the movies, you know, hanging out, you know, that 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 sparkle that you are lacking at the moment. Um, for those of you who are married, though, once you talk to your partner and you you talk it out calmly, peacefully, no argument, because if you go with arguments and start shouting and start, you know, the usual, then the, nothing is going to get done and nothing is going to be forgiven and it's going to be the same, same old, same old. And this person is the one. There's chemistry. There's this is a true love, and you know, um, it's it's a romance of a lifetime. So don't let it go because of a petty argument. For those of you who whose situation applies, that it is a petty argument. Forgive and forget, as they say, because you know what, life is too short. To be angry, to be bitter, to be resentful. And once you clear the air with your partner, again, for those who are married, you will find that you will be more flirty, flirty, your chemistry will be going up. And again, your, your, um, your life will be more balanced, more, how do I say it? more fruitful you will you will see a huge change in both of you you will be much happier much more you know uh flirty you your whoever does the cooking in the house will be doing your favorite dishes you know going out to movies watching movies <laughs> You know, going on late night dates. If you're married and have children, you know, someone will be taking care of your children while you go on late night dates, your families, you know. And it'll be like you're in heaven again, basically. But you need to take that initiative step to forgive and forget and move past it and move forward. Because that's definitely, there's definitely chemistry, there's definitely love, there's definitely a lifetime love here. Like, chemistry, it's definitely twin flame. Um, again, for those of you who are single, once you forgive and forget and move forward with your life, you will definitely find the one and you will know it because you will have mutual chemistry you will mutually flirt with each other for those of you who are in a relationship and again you're having a fight i would say the same thing talk it out and you know get to the bottom of the root of the problem both of you bring out your feelings. Let them talk with you and let their feelings be known to you. Just as you would like them to let your feelings be known to them. Because if you're going back and forth, putting up a wall between you two, you know, that's not going to solve the situation. That's not going to solve the problem. You're both going to be unhappy and you're both going to be cranky. And we don't want that now, do we? Because we both, we all want this flirtiness, this this love between the couples, right? You know? So, again, forgive and forget. Let, this, let the chains go and the rain will definitely go away. So, I feel like you guys have homework. <laughs> so... That's all I have for pile number six. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.
thank you so much for watching guys if you stuck to the end of the video and watched it through to the very end i hope you guys enjoyed um and happy new year late new year definitely late new year um i'll see you guys next time bye